Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nub Raids. Today we're joined by none other than YST. Welcome back. How's it going, Mr. Nubby? Good. Nice to be here. Yes, <laughs> oh, it's great to have you back after TwitchCon. You've been gone, but you're back now. But we have some interesting stuff to talk about. Right here in the background, this is me on the PC. Everything looks as normal, nothing much going yep. on. But on my phone, the update has already been pushed, and some of those updates have sort of leaked through. The full patch not out till tomorrow, but if I open up my phone, ooh, ooh we look down <laughs> down here. What is this in this uh, this corner over here? The old Forge Pass icon has changed to a Passes icon, yeah. uh, which is pretty spicy. So I wanted to get YST on to talk about this today, and a couple of the other things that we know are coming with this patch and what we sort of expect uh, going forward. So, uh, I, I mean, what's your initial initial reaction to seeing passes? Are you excited? Are you worried? Is this good? Is it bad? What's going on, dude? I think it's probably one of the best things that we had in the game that never came back, honestly. Yeah. Like, I remember back then, I think it was something like, correct me if I'm wrong, it was about £20, right? So uh, I for the, for the have price. it here. I'm not sure if the price is in. I wasn't around uh, when they initially okay. did this battle pass. But yeah, this was from... Uh, this was from 2020, the yeah. Battle Pass, and it was a Battle Pass Do you icon. Know what? Fun fact, I was actually completely free to play until this came out, and it was the thing really? that spurred me to spend in this game. Um, wow. I just felt like the investment for it, like we was getting Frozen Banshee, Grave Chill Killer, we got a mm. um, Whirling Frost King, a Void Legendary Champion, we got, I believe, Stagnite was in there, right? There was there was so many champions that was in part of this, alongside all of the resources as well, and mm -hmm. it was just cool, like, you sign in, like, very similar to the Forge Pass, right? Like, you do, like, your missions, your quests every day with the weekly ones, and yeah, then, yeah. you know, like, I think Whirling Frost King's a pretty good champion, like, you know, if you're starting off this game and you pull this dude, he's not the best, but yeah, he, he does play, uh, back then anyway, he was playing some roles that I definitely didn't have on my account, like decreased accuracy. And I think he got a buff recently, though. Um, he since did. Then. Yeah, he has been buffed. Yeah. So I don't know what he did exactly back then, but yeah, he's definitely not amazing. It. But like, yeah, you, you get him yeah. like at the start of the game, it would be absolutely yeah. huge. Uh, huge campaign carry like i remember mm. like when i was going through the nightmare campaign for the first time once it got released uh he was one of the yeah. champions that helped me like just get through that just because of base stats and stuff alone yeah 100 percent. now i remember they said with this battle pass that they felt that it did not perform well financially which is why they didn't bring it back they i don't <laughs> no know how chance. but there's no th way yeah they said like player <laughs> retention was worse with the battle pass i mean that's probably it's one of those things. It's probably hard to judge as well. You know, there's so many factors affecting player retention, but apparently that's that's what they said. Uh, mm -hmm. It seems a weird thing to make up if it's not true. So I'll say, okay, sure, maybe there was something up, but they've brought it back. I wonder if it has something to do with the revival path. I don't know if you know anybody that's actually done this revival path yet. Do you know what? I'm trying to get my free to play, not to okay. play it, just to proc the revival path. Wow. <laughs> and then I was thinking yeah. of like getting it and then giving it away to a viewer or something like down the line. Yeah. But I, I, I've actually heard crazy. a lot of people like even talking about it being like, this revival path is so good. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna not play the game. I think it's for 21 days. If you don't play the game for 21 days, next time you come in, you'll be offered this revival path. Uh, and I think it is twenty dollars. You can buy the yeah, gold. So maybe pass, that was the price of the pass. battle pass back in it. I just remember it yeah. being around that price limit. Here it is. And then it, it, is. And then it was the, it was like the same as that, but then there was mm -hmm. like an extra one to get floors earlier. Do you know, like All unlock right. a few like twenty floors earlier or something? But yeah, I remember the base yeah. price was something along those lines. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. So you can see exactly with the the revival path, it's twenty bucks to buy it, and you get Elva Autumnborn, who's like a a top tier legendary. She's really, you, really you good. You spent twenty sacreds to get her right for a guaranteed. So if yeah. you put it into that perspective, it's like <laughs> yeah, exactly. one twentieth of the price. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like if you are to get a legendary champion, if you were to buy one with shards, oh, I did the the maths on this before. I think it's something like about three hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars to buy yep. enough shards to get a champion. So yeah, for the survival pass, right? To get a champion for $20 is insane. Now, this is obviously this revival path uh, or pass, which is for uh, returning players. Do you think that this is going to be a battle pass or do you, like, like this offering heroes? Or do you think it's going to be something else? I, I'd be leading towards saying it most likely I, I could see it being a battle pass with heroes. 
And if so, you know what? I'm I'm too optimistic, right? I'm always like, <laughs> yeah. I'm always like, yeah, it's gonna be this, and then it's something completely different. But yeah. I'm just thinking in a game like this, what else can it be? Like the Forge Pass is already done, right? right. Yeah. What other way could they go? Like, mm. I, don't kill me in the comments, guys. But if I see like a soul <laughs> a soul's path, I'm gonna uh, like shoot yeah. myself in the foot. Like, I don't wanna be seeing that. Um, yeah, if yeah, it has, like, yeah. You know, like champions, avatars, cosmetics, like these skins are the things now that as well. skins, skins like there, the there is, there's many things that can go into a battle pass nowadays that yeah. wasn't there back then as well. So I would love for it to be a battle pass. I think it would change the game completely. Now here, the two big questions that I want to follow up with, uh, for, well, the second one is going to be like, what champions do you think could be in it? But the first one is mm -hmm. what about pricing, right? What would the price be if we're talking about something that has, you know, skins in there, resources, and possibly a legendary champion, let's assume is the final reward for this elite pass or gold version of the pass. The the yep. forge pass, as it is right now in game, that's 20 bucks. The revival pass is 20 bucks. Do you think that a battle pass would be 20 bucks as well? Or do you think that they'd be upping the price seeing as it's let's say maybe more desirable, more broad market? Um, if I was to put like yeah. Do you know how they, they fluctuate the points of the primal, not the prime, is it the primals, the white ones? No. Uh, prism the, um, ones, isn't it? Prism shards. Mm. You know, sometimes it's like a this amount of prism shards and then this amount depending on the champion pool. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see some sort of fluctuation depending on the final reward as well. Um, like, you know, sometimes a 20 bucks one and then, you know, sometimes maybe a 40 one, but it's got like a god tier Ooh. champion at the end. Like, yeah, okay. maybe that, okay. there might be something like that, but, Interesting. you know, with, with Raid, <laughs> like, with the amount of other things, like, if they're throwing primals in there and skins and they're pricing these at, like, 20 pound each, mm. right, are they really yeah. going to give it to us in one big bulk like that for the same price? Yeah. I don't know, uh, but for longevity of the game, like, even if they're taking a hit on prices, I think it would be a huge, like, retention thing, right? Yeah. Like, players want to sign in and get their rewards, and, you know, these things can last for, like, a month to two months. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. I think in that element, um, would be really positive, even if it was cheaper, like before. Yeah, interesting. I, I mean, if I was to put a bet in it right now, with the other two passes being 20, I, I kind of feel like they'll go for 30, right? It's it's because it's Raid, it's Plarium. They're always yes. trying to put... And, like, I feel like they yeah. would think that that's really cheap, you know? Like the revival path. Oh, I see. I've been playing the game for ages. So for to give a revival path to everybody, it wouldn't be for twenty bucks. I have to. I mean, so I don't know. I'm the optimist in me is going like, oh, if they did a, a battle pass again, it'd be twenty. But I'm like, mm -hmm. I bet they go for at least thirty. They're like, that's fifty percent more money. Let's go. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. <laughs> people will still go for it. Uh, I don't know, but we'll yeah, see. It's, it's 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 a gray area, <laughs> but it's it true. Is, like uh... just knowing their price points, like they're not. I, yeah, I, I don't know if right. that was just like a test thing back then, but for them to say that mm. it wasn't... Because I remember back then when I was playing, right? Yeah. Everybody, I'm talking everybody that I knew in this community bought the battle pass. Like it was their thing that drove them to do it. So I don't know yeah. what them actually... I would love to see the metrics of how many people at that time actually did buy it. Yeah. But let us know in the comments, guys. Like, would you be <laughs> up for a battle pass... Yes. with like champions and skins in it or what would you like to see as well yeah really cool how, how much do you think yeah let us know as well how much you think that so they you guess would charge. you guess 29.99 right yeah that's right um i'm gonna guess okay uh, oh, are you going high or low now oh, oh i'm gonna sit in the middle i'm gonna go 24.99 but it'll okay, be unlockable for yeah. another for another 20 do you know like you know get the floors early oh yeah I, early. I think yeah 100 percent. they'll they definitely sell you like yeah fast track like I can yeah. do it. Do they yeah, do I can that right? Levels. Oh, they do. Do yeah, you know yeah, me? I've never do. bought a Forge Pass before. <laughs> right, right, yeah. But I, maybe I should, man. Like whenever we do these clan boss stuff with Dead with Jedi, like these competitions, and I haven't <laughs> got the fire in, I haven't got this and that. It's a pain, man. Yeah. So oh, it's just, 40, 40 it's, it's, for that final it's 40 one. Forty to, to buy all the levels. I'm oh. not sure. Now that's the remaining thirty-two. I think you could probably spend more. I think you could probably spend like sixty bucks to get them all, like day one. I don't know why people. You know? Would, why why would you want to do that? Like you could spend that so, sixty on something else. The reason that they do it, like Krakens will do it, is because you get the stacking. Uh, xp and silver boost and because they're you know they're krakens right you're constantly farming dungeons you've got so like, how no... long does it take you on average to complete yours <clears throat> like it, just as it... it takes at least two maybe two and a half weeks to actually get the to get it done i'd say okay so, so you only have doing like, everything right yeah yeah you only have like one one and a half weeks you know with with the 50 percent bonus so that's why krakens mm -hmm. buy it early they're like oh if you work it out in terms of silver because we are constantly farming dungeons just just spending 50 bucks for 50 percent more silver actually works out as being super valuable because we're already spending like 
thousands of dollars a month on energy packs and stuff, right? So that's yeah. the Kraken world. Uh, for most people, I would I'd say this is not I'm worth just, it. Just wait. While just we're wait, doing right? this, I'm literally I'm literally just searching the price of the battle pass of what it was before. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Here we go. So it was. I'll send you a picture so you could show it over the clip later. Yeah. But it was twenty four ninety nine USD for Ooh, it. Okay. And then it was thirty nine ninety nine USD to unlock twenty five levels. Right, right. Okay. And there was. Um, uh, you might be right. right, dude, with going for the twenty four ninety nine if they're to do it again. Just same price again. Yeah. I can see that. That's a good, okay. Okay. Uh, let me ask you, what champion uh, do you think that they could offer for? Like, it's always possible it could be something new. Um, do you think it's going to be something new that's not in the game? If they, or if they was to do it, what right? Do you think they'll do if mm. they if they want to kick it off properly and entice players to go for it at that same price range, hypothetically. Yeah. Um, I would love to see a mythical champion on the same caliber of Lady Makage. Oh, you think they go know? for a mythical? Ooh. I think not. Some not somebody super busted. Right. Um, somebody that can be used in multiple areas. Like I'm a huge fan of Lady Makage. Just putting that out there. I think yeah, she's good. She she covers so many fundamentals, right? Like mm. you know, she's got crowd controlling. She's got ally attacks. One of the best ally attacks in the game. Um, she holds end game and early game value. Um, yeah. you know, she just got. I wouldn't say like she's crazy good, but she holds fundamentals. And if they could bring someone in, you know, similar caliber, that's interesting. Maybe mm -hmm. to take down this new piece of content that he's in. Um, yeah right could be a cool introduction into it right like oh here's the the way to beat this boss guys like take this champion but i don't know <laughs> that, okay. i might be dreaming there but i would I, be against it I, I could see it i could see that being a thing right get people on board the mythical stuff you have people actually have a mythical yeah, champion because they do say they said that primal shards are yeah. not on, they're not supposed to be on the same level as a sacred shard right right yeah. so right. technically giving us a mythical is a less valuable as a legendary in a sense right Nah, in a weird way. No, in a not, weird but... way. <laughs> in a weird way. In a weird way. Like from there, the way that they've been saying it, like it's, it's... primals are less valuable. I think that yeah, I think the pri the mythicals, yeah, from what they said, but it's not been actually true in terms of what they priced it, that a mythical would be somewhat comparable to like a void legendary. Um Okay. But it's also not true. Like it's much more expensive to get a mythical than a void, I think, still. But yeah. Have That's you bought primal shards yet? Any of them? Boss any. No, yeah. No. Okay. I was trying no. to put you on the spot there. <laughs> I've, not <bought. laughs> no. I've, I've not bought any of them. I've got nothing. I've got eight right now. I'm just saving them for. Oh, I wow. I don't know what. Yeah, I've got eight. Like They're going to come through with a guaranteed mythical for eight primals and you're good to go. Excellent. That's what I like <laughs> to hear. I was thinking, like, my initial thought was maybe they could do, like, Crocmaw. Like, as in, he, he's, you know, pretty popular. People like this champ. Um, he's a legendary. Think, he's cool. But... I think it would be a new champion, honestly. Okay. Yeah. I think it would be. Mm, it's just, it's just mm. for the thing of like, let's just say they release it with a previous champion. Yeah. How much of the player base are not going to buy it just because they've already got that champion, right? It it's like, yes, what's that's... the point of buying this now? I've already got it, right? So. Very good point. Okay. And uh, so I thought this was interesting. You pointed this out to me that um, they posted this on Twitter today, right? That the new version was appearing. There's some really spicy comments on this, this tweet. Can't wait for Great Void. Super curious if it'd be similar to Demon Lord. They've already said it's not the Great Void. Uh, yeah. But anyway, I hope the new boss will give. And they said, you've got no idea what's coming. Uh, and then Larry asks, anything do we, do we have to pay attention to that demon face? Like, is it going to be like a demon boss? Like, they've, they put like some... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a... A weird smiley boss like like this one. That's what it's gonna be. Uh, yeah. Actually, it's it. just like a, it's just Helios shield as a boss. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that, I, Teddy yeah. W shield. You know that should be that should be the whatever this pass is gonna be. They should just freaking sell us a skin to cover up the Helior shield with something less uh, obnoxious. I'll see what. Do you know what? I've been meaning <laughs> to make a video on Helio for so long, right? And every single time mm. I prepped it, is there ready to go? I'm just scared to make the video, man. Listen out. Listen. Anyway, look, there we go. Let us wrap it up there. That is the news. Let us know what you think about this whole new passes button showing up in the game. I'm sure we'll probably hear within a few days, I would say, what is, is going on with this. Like, they're not going to uh, sleep on this for long. That would be my bet. But yeah, let us know. Place your bets now. Um, and yeah, listen, thanks for watching the video. YC, you want to say anything before we hop on over to your channel? Um, no, just appreciate you having me on. It's nice to be back, I guess, uh, recording again. Feels mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. And hopefully more in the future. Excellent. All right, guys, you'll find the links to YST's channel down below. We're going to record a collaboration over on his channel as well. So we'll see you all there. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.